Hey guys, my name's Haley, and I've had a lot of people asking me about how I use my voice meter to be able to mute my Discord from my stream uh, so that they can use it themselves, and also how I'm able to change my volume levels that I hear compared to what my stream hears so that I'm not having my eardrums blasted out and stream can still hear what's going on. So that's what I'm here to do. So let's get to it. First things first is we need to download these programs. So pull over Google here and I'm going to search for voice meter banana. Of course I've searched this a few times. Click the first link, bananas right here. You're going to click install the exe file. All right, so once that's downloaded, run the program and we're just going to install. All right, and it's gonna say that we need to reboot our system to finalize all the installations. So just click okay, but do not restart your system yet because we need to come here and we need to download virtual audio cables. So you're just going to download here, download the zip file and I have already downloaded it. So it is right here and it is a zip file. You are going to want to extract it into this folder. Please don't come at me. My stuff is very unorganized. But you're gonna go in here and you're going to run this setup 64 as admin, maybe if it lets me. And you're going to install driver. All right, and we are back from the restart. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up voice meter and make sure that you're opening up voice meter banana version, not the regular version. It's not as good. Uh, now this did save my old information from when I uninstalled and reinstalled for this video. So basically what you have to do to change the name of this is you just right click it change it to whatever you need. Now I made my first one my Yeti microphone because it is a Yeti microphone and I love it very much. So now to change the input device we're going to click this. Now I do not know the difference between WGM or MME. I chose MME and it seems to work great. So that is my microphone. That is where my voice is coming through and you can see that my voice is coming through right here. Now my Discord, again, right click, rename it to Discord. And this one's going to be Cable Output VB Audio Virtual. All right, so there you go. And then I have mine turned down because a lot of people in my Discord are very loud and I don't like Discord to be very loud while I'm playing my games and especially not while I'm streaming. So Hardware Input 3, I don't use which is fine. Now, one thing that I highly recommend before you hit this hardware out is unchecking this A1 right here. Otherwise, you're going to be hearing yourself talking through your headphones. Some people like it, some people don't. I personally cannot stand hearing my own voice, so that is unchecked for me. So now your hardware out is going to be your headset. So mine is a HyperX CloudFlight S. Typically, I'm going to turn this button right here down. This is actually my desktop audio. So I'm gonna turn that down to about negative uh, 10, just because I, again, don't like things to be very loud in my ears, especially while I am streaming. And this is what this is primarily used for, is for while I'm streaming. So now I'm gonna open up my sound settings. All right, now your output device, you're going to change, and this sounds very counterintuitive, but trust me, it works. You're gonna change to voice meter input. All right, change your master volume however you would like. Uh, I keep mine as my regular microphone. I don't like to use voice meter for these settings, so this will stay as my Yeti microphone. All right, and almost the last thing, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our Discord. And we're going to get into our voice and video settings. Again, the input device, I like to keep this as my Yeti microphone. 
I don't like to go into voice meter too much for this, just in case something does happen, people in Discord can still hear that I cannot hear them for whatever reason. Now the output device is going to be cable input. Now the very last thing that we need to do is we need to add Discord onto your stream. So uh, we're going to have a little bit of inception here for just a minute. There we go. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to come over to our sources and you will have to do this in each one of your scenes. So in your source, you're going to add audio output capture. All right, add source. And I already have my Discord ready here. So we're going to add the source and I'm going to show you right here that it is set as cable input. All right, and that's it guys. That's all there is to it. It's a very simple process. Now you guys know how to set up your voice meter and your virtual audio cable so that you can mute Discord anytime you want on your stream. So like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Comment below if you have any more ideas on what you want to see me do. And uh, reach out, say hi to me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash vt underscore Haley. I'll see you guys around.